Work has started on a bronze statue to honour former Premier Daniel Andrews, which has been met with howls of derision and disbelief from political figures. The statue will cost up to $100,000, and opponents say the timing is terrible. The place of Premier's past is about to get another permanent addition, with the government confirming work is underway to immortalise Daniel Andrews in bronze. He did a great work during COVID. Probably deserves it. No, I don't care. It's, it's all politics. I think it's ridiculous and it'll be taken down pretty quickly. Former Premier Jeff Kennett introduced a policy granting Premiers a statue if they serve 3,000 days. Daniel Andrews, the fifth longest serving Premier and longest serving Labor Premier, surpassed that milestone. The beauty about this whole system, it's based on democracy. It's Victorians decide who gets elected and for how long they stay elected. There's no location locked in for the statue, but it will probably be here outside one Treasury place, keeping the other four company. Bronze statues cost upwards of $100,000. The opposition says it shows the government has the wrong priority. Now is not the right time. When you've got a budget that is out of control and you're coming up to nearly $200 billion in debt... It's well short of 3,000 days, but Premier Jacinta Allen today clocked 366 in the roll, a leap year which has seen a $10 billion blowout on the North East Link, a nearly billion dollar blowout on the Metro Tunnel and backflips on a second safe injecting room, pill testing, bail laws and the age of criminal responsibility. Jacinta Allen can celebrate her 12 years with record crime rates here in Victoria, a debt that's continuing to grow under her watch, roads that continue to crumble and no answers from the government. None of us have time to just talk about accomplishments and naval gaze. Uh, we're all getting on with the job. Patrick Murrell for 10 News First.